Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 3 with me, Break It Down. Let's crash this crash. Gish. Is it not Vlacketh's command to welcome her faithful? I expected no visitors faithful or otherwise. Why have you come? Well, we brought Lazel to speak for us, so allow Lazel to answer. We seek the Zathisk. Show me the way. You are infected. A gig thrall is something to eradicate, not reason with. The faithful may be purified. This is Vlacketh's protocol. Chuk. Fine. Let the Gustil carry out your fate. Report to the infirmary at once. And step carefully. Kreshia like watches you. You may proceed. You may proceed to the crash. Stop meddling where you aren't wanted, Istik. Oh, let's read the Githyanki report. Any word on the, search for the, the stone disc has Githyanki runes carved into it. Lothim has drawn a translation into the common tongue. Forgive me. Kobolds entering the area. Pursuing dragon. Threat posed minimal. Suggested course of action. Ignore. I would like to speak with Dead with Alika, but they won't be happy about us entering the cell. We'll save that for later. I would be more concerned than excited. Well, hello. Just like old times. A bunch of potions. Always a good find. On the hunt. I would be more concerned than excited. Now we've got Istik poking around here as well as an Inquisitor. The ladder on this side it opens up into a cave. Cave that we've explored. Oh, it must be the entrance, the door on the cliffside. Alright, we'll check that out later. What path lies before me? For now, let's not burn any bridges. I have now is Tick wander our halls at their leisure. Captain Therizan will be even more irate than usual. What if they don't find the weapon? Do we even know it? An istic? But... But you can't be here! I can't be seen with you! That's your cry! Quani Rel! The Inquisition have more to worry about than who you talk to in the corridors. Inquisition? What are you talking about? Our Queen's eyes and ears. They're her will incarnate, and right now, they're here. At ease. I'm just looking for your captain. See? I told you. Nothing to worry about. She's in her quarters, through those doors. We are permitted to walk so freely. Such a lack of discipline would be punished severely in Kalir. 
walk freely? This place is as tight as a patriarch's purse. We should have been disarmed on entry. I'm pleased we weren't, but it's strange. No doubt they found me too intimidating. Should we be concerned about the ceiling crumbling? Also, I don't want to alarm anyone, but your vase is glowing. A lot of your vases are glowing. <laughs> An estic allowed to soil our halls. Chick. The only thing soiling your halls is that awful haircut. Well, it doesn't count as stealing, so I'm gonna grab that. And we got a waypoint, so we can leave whenever we feel like it. To a merchant. Oh, we're in the cave that we... Okay. Another Istic. You're lucky we didn't catch you outside, or you'd be in with the captain right now. No, you're lucky I didn't catch you outside, because you'd be paced. The captain has little patience for your kind. You'd better not waste her time. Ugh, blood... Rust? Squaw? Is there no odious substance not smeared on this delivery? I'd heard this plane was disgusting, but I didn't think it would be like this. There must be something worthwhile on this plane, or your kind wouldn't be here. Most metals here fold like istics, much like istics themselves. But if you're so keen to extol their virtues, you can pay accordingly. Character looked very blonde there. Ooh, gloves of dexterity. Let's swap to barter real quick. Okay, gloves of dexterity. Set the wearer's dexterity score to 18. The enchantment has no effect if their dexterity score is higher without it. An attack plus one. The point at which the gloves meet the wrist is form-fitting and very snug. Almost a hint at the supple quickness and skill these gloves permit the wearer. We will be buying those. Alright, Knife of the Undermountain King. That is an awesome name. Grants Organ Rearranger. The Wilder scores a critical hit when rolling a 19. When they roll 2 damage or less, reroll the dice, taking the highest result. So that's a better version of my current fighting style. It's a great weapon fighting style, lets you reroll a die if you roll a 1 or, well, I guess you can't roll less. That's pretty good, so higher crit chance, and better damage. Also grants Shadow Blade. You have advantage on attack rolls against lightly or heavily obscured targets when using this blade. And it's a plus two. Snatched from the realm of the mad wizard Halastar Black Cloak, this knife became a prized keepsake of a Dorgar king. Black Cloak rings a bell. Not Halastar itself, but... The name Black Cloak. Not sure what I know that from. Daredevil Gloves. Grants Doomlobber. The wearer gains a plus one bonus to spell attack rolls. And Daredevil Proximity. Your ranged spell attacks are made as melee spell attacks when you're adjacent to a hostile creature. This effect can be toggled off. That's pretty good. Normally range attacks are... You, you take disadvantage on range attacks in melee. And this lets you ignore that. The sting of fear at the encroachment of some hulking brute is lessened by these gloves. In fact, in such moments, they send rivulets of courage coursing through you. We might pick those up. Vital Conduit Boots. When the wearer casts a spell that requires concentration, they gain 8 temporary hit points, and plus 1 to athletics. A tensor's notes on arcane displacement were not only read by wizards, other avid razor readers, excuse me, included enterprising smiths eager to break into the magic items market. That's pretty good. I'm trying to think who I'd give it to. Maybe Shadowheart? I don't know what boots she has equipped. 
Defender Flail. Grants Steel Physiology. Reduce incoming bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage by one. It's a plus one weapon. Grants plus one armor class. Oh, is this a reference to the Defender of East Haven Flail? In the original Infinity Engine games? Also, it's Tenacity. This flail was created to commemorate victory over the devil Belafet. Yeah. Belafet was the final boss in Icewind Dale. And since made its way so far from East Haven, Defender of East Haven, that the locals have long forgotten that chapter of their town's past. I'm gonna buy this. If not only for the reference, but I think it'll be really good on Shadowheart. Because our current mace. It's good, it grants that fairy fire effect if she misses an attack, but it's only once per short rest. This gives her a permanent plus one to armor class. And tenacity, I don't think her mace has tenacity. The Rethian's Wrath. The plus one. And grants Razor Gale. Swing your weapon in a cyclone of steel that deals razor blade sharp damage to all enemies within range. Once per short rest. Deceptively light, the blade rasps through Castleforge plate as easily as Corellian, sorry, Corellin, Lorethian's own anarchic holy sword, through the hearts of evil orcs. Seems pretty good too. The plus one. We could give this and the dagger to Astarian. Get a little expensive though. <laughs> we only have so much money. Unseen Menace. Grants Invisible Weapon. This weapon is invisible while equipped. It loses this property for two rounds on a missed attack roll. That's a plus one. Yes, but what exactly is hitting you? So Invisible Weapon. Affected Entity can't be disarmed. It has advantage on attack rolls. It scores a critical hit when rolling a 19. That's really good. You just get advantage just because until you miss. And it's really hard to miss when you have advantage. I'm gonna buy that too. <laughs> Witchbreaker. The battle axe grants Witchbreaker. You gain advantage on attack rolls against concentrating creatures, and it's a plus one. It has this. Hush you. Slash a target and possibly silence it. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to, well, keep doing whatever she's doing. It's probably malefic, involving toads and, and things. That's pretty good, but I don't think we need it when compared to the other items that we're picking up here. We found some pretty good stuff. Alright, what can we sell in exchange? Alright, well, it is a start. Whew, still very expensive.
could sell all these. I mean, there's a lot of magic items I could sell. I'm just... I'm playing it very safe because Gale may need those. I don't know if we're going to be able to fix him at some point. On your way, then. But we got some really good stuff. Super excited about it. Starian, what are you doing? Trying to pocket one piece of gold. Shame on you. Things have stayed interesting. Alright, so Unseen Menace, I may give this to Will. He has a plus one weapon already. He has that glaive from the Druid's Grove. I don't remember what effect it had, so I may swap this out. If not, I mean, this is... Advantage is very valuable, so this probably outweighs whatever effect the glaive has. Uh, this will give to Astarian, along with this. This goes to Shadowheart. Uh, what boots does Shadowheart have equipped? That's pretty handy. It's not that important. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. I'm trying to think what concentration spells Will has. He could probably use those boots as well. But no, because he already has temporary hit points as a passive. You can only have temporary hit points from one source. You can't stack them. You could argue it would be better on Shadowheart. Right now she's only granting plus three, right? Because it's the boots plus they give that. Yeah. So she can give herself eight, or with an AoE heal she can get 12 total for the party. I'm not sure. Now for the dexterity. My paladin has pretty bad dexterity. This would give him 8 points in it and a plus 4 modifier. What now? I don't think it's worth giving to Astarian because he only gets one extra dexterity. And we're going to fix this odd number in his next feat anyway. I mean, she needs gloves. It'd be an upgrade for her. Honestly, they'd probably be best on Karlak. Because she's not going to wear armor. So that's just going to give her... I think she has 13 dexterity, right? Let's give her three more armor class. I don't remember what Will's... Dexterity is it might be worthwhile giving to Will as well. And since he's wearing light armor. I could also give him that. I guess I could also give it to Gale. A pretty cool looking. Oh, it's a short sword. I thought it was a knife. This is called Knife of the Undermount King. I should have looked. The long sword. So I could have him use a long sword. Yeah, I should have read that. Well, shoot. It's versatile. Well, let me use both. 
because it's not light. Darn. I'm going to keep him dual wielding. So we'll give him the Steel Forge sword back and the dagger. Sorry, the, the knife that's not a knife. This is still really good, so I'm glad that I have it. The other boots that she sells might be worth picking up, but we'll deal with that later. A lot of goodies there, though. Super exciting. I see they're letting even istic mercenaries in these days. Keep it quick. Leave me alone. The watch must remain undisturbed. He said with a smile. There's loot up here too. What? Will they not heed their just still? Poor conduct. That will not serve them well in battle with Gake. Oh, that was close. There. Yeah, things out to the cliffside. Is that well, awesome? No, never mind. Should mind my step. So I may give the pike that we got to Will, and then give the sword to. Harlack for now. Because she is using the really strong flaming sword we got at the beginning from the Cambion. The ever burning blade, but it's not a plus one, so that plus one to hit might be worth it. I right, had to track an illipid. A handwritten tome documenting various tried and tested ways to track mind flayers and the results of each endeavor. Place that we might need or would be handy to have. Like a Let's read Broom and Bucket. A collection of anecdotes about kobolds and Baldur's Gate. It seems a tribe of the industrious little scaly creatures were employed by the city to take care of sanitation. In essence, they were sewer workers, drain wardens, and waste disposers. However, in recent times, the city has been perplexed and thoroughly nose wrinkled by the seeming departure of the kobolds. When asked about their disappearance, one citizen said, Yeah, right. Hope they turn up. Meantime, who's going to broom up my pee and bucket my crap? On psionic manipulations and countermeasures. Looks like a thick tome, doesn't it? A thorough account of how best to protect your mind from illithid manipulation and subsequent domination. When dealing with mind flayers, Remember that it is in their nature to assess the utility, strengths, and weaknesses of those around them, and to manipulate in order to get what they want. The best countermeasure you can take against a Mind Flayer is simply to avoid it. Any attempts to outsmart it will fail. If that is not an option, then there are three things to remember that may just save your mind. 1. Pay attention to its actions, not its words. Where Mind Flayers are concerned, 
It is true that actions speak louder than words, especially words that are tailor spoken to fit a mind player's manipulative agenda. 2. Strengthen your relationship with others. The greatest thing you can do to offset a mind player's designs upon you is to have allies, strong allies. Trust in those you know you can trust and build your relationships with them. They're the ones who will have your back when you most need it. 3. Even mind flayers have wants and desires. The only circumstances in which a relationship with the mind flayer may be beneficial to you is if you both want exactly the same thing. In the unlikely case that this is true, bear in mind that once you have outlived your purpose to a mind flayer, it will have no use for you. I think any literature on mind flayers is probably worth picking up. Get a lot of oh, it's a key up there. That's right. There's a lot of things that I want to come back through and pick up at some point, but I may wait until we're done with you know whatever quests or objectives we have here first. How delicious! I assume. A small iron key is what we just picked up. Still breathing, despite everything. I'm not letting you bring me down. Light on my feet. Loot over here. Super excited to take it all at some point in the future. The Yankee are distracted enough. They don't need your interference. Please, Chitrai, I can explain. The latest batch of cultists knew nothing of the Astral Prism. They were just trying to find Moonrise. They all head there. My Gish have drafted plans to assault the tower. They are ready to fight, Chitrai. We could sift the missing artifact from the tower's ashes if you would give us- Quiet. Find the astral prism, Therizin. My patience falters. Yes, Chitrai. You heard him. Go! Do as she says. She remains your Kithrak. For now. Is now a good time? Doesn't sound like a good time. Map of the Shadow Cursed Lands. Gonna read that. This map is an act of improvised cartography. It highlights the areas of these Shadow Cursed Lands explored by Githyanki scouts. Evidently, their forces are getting closer and closer to Moonrise Towers. A map of the Sword Coast. My people have scouted well beyond the temple. Why is this red? Alright, get the Yankee orders. Stone disc has get the Yankee runes carved into it. Below them is drawn a translation into the common tongue. Be aware, cultists must be captured on sight. Interrogations, swift but effective. Search for the artifact, thorough. Priority one. Okay, doesn't count as stealing, so I'm gonna take it. If you guys don't mind, of course. I'm not here. Speak to the captain. Let's see how well she handles this. 
Um, you are there. Those aren't dire wolves, they're just regular wolves. Things are massive. Alright, or you can read this safely. Inquisitor's prerogative, a reminder. The stone disc has Githyanki runes carved into it. Below them is drawn a translation into the common tongue. There is in. It would behoove you to remember that you, should you, or any other member of Kresh Ilek, flout out, flout the new rules. This will be considered an act of treason. Do not think that I am blind to your disdain. I am your, our queen's eyes, and I see all. Sorry, this white on the blue and white. I have a hard time seeing it. Maybe I'm just getting old. Because between this and the flavor text, like the gray on gray, it's, uh, it's not the easiest to decipher. The Inquisition will proceed as planned until it's complete and the weapon is found. As decreed by the Queen to me, Inquisitor Warragaz. Once a dwarf, armor and all. Took me a whole ten day to pass him. If she keeps making me eat armor, I'm going on hunger strike. That's a mean looking wolf. I don't think there's anything else. Oh, we can light the brazier at least. Alright, let's speak to Therizin. An Istic in my crash. You are one of the mercenaries sent to bring the weapon. The Istic is with me, honored Kithrak. So noted. But my question goes unanswered. Do you bring the weapon? Don't tell her anything. I was told to seek your infirmary. Does this look like an infirmary? Where is the infirmary then? Our healer's office is past the dormitories. Go! Before I send you a- As a corpse. Okay. Let's deal with that first. I decided not to lie because I'd probably break my oath. Portrait of Lackett. This imposing portrait depicts a powerful Githyanki warrior, undeniably regal in her mien. Lackett herself. She is both the sun that blinds us and the void that contains us. Praise be. In the corner of the painting is a small symbol you can't quite place. Study the subject's features. This Githyanki looks different from the others you've seen here. The way her stark white skin stretches over her sharp features gives her a distinctly otherworldly aspect. Inspect the symbol more closely. Yeah, I have to send someone else over here to do this. Probably Shadowheart. As hard as you rack your brain, the symbol doesn't look like anything you've seen before. Yeah. 
This imposing portrait depicts a powerful Githyanki warrior, undeniably regal in her mien. Blacketh herself. She is both the sun that blinds us and the void that contains us. Praise be. In the corner of the painting is a small symbol you can't quite place. All right, inspect the symbol more closely. As hard as you rack your brain, the symbol doesn't look like Can anything I? you've seen before. Do you even try again without using inspiration? The portrait looks down on you, as if you were little more than an insect. I cannot. All right, historian. Black. In the corner of the painting is a small symbol you can't quite place. Man. Alright, I'm just gonna burn all my inspiration here. Awesome. My last inspiration, and we got Miracle it. Miracle stories of a prince riding a comet just like this one. With sudden clarity, you realize it's the symbol of Orpheus, a forgotten hero from the tales of your youth. The sign of Orpheus? <sighs> Blasphemy! Would I could crawl to the Vandal myself! No time to rest. All right. But look, I don't have time to talk to you, Istic. This place isn't going to clean itself. You got that right. She patrols back the other way. I'll grab this health potion, and then I think... Oh, son of a gun. Very well. Why is there blood here? Trust no one. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. All right. I'm going to call it here. Next time, we're going to continue exploring the crash. A theft has been reported, and it seems you're the only suspect. Choose your next step wisely. Where did he come from? Uh, try to talk your way out of the situation. Minus one from Charisma. Wait, who's he talking to? Uh, persuasion. I'm just minding my own business. It's nothing to do with me. Hey -o. You've been given the benefit of the doubt this time, but something tells you next time you won't be so lucky. Yeah, yeah. All right, McCall here. Next time we will explore the crash or continue exploring the crash. Made a lot of progress. Got a lot of goodies. Still very excited about these items. And we'll go from there. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one.